Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Brett Tadlock, TN Artist. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So this is a repaint of a uh, image I did a while back called Dead Man's Cove. And this is what the piece is going to look like here when we get done. So that way you can kind of see how to do it. Um, so I hope you enjoy this. It's going to cover a lot of different things. So the first thing I did was kind of do the layout for the uh, the gradated background and then from there started laying in some rough textures for what will eventually be the clouds. I did this with my impasto brush and then I took my cloud brush, my custom cloud brush, and used that to soften everything instead of a palette knife because I like the way it looks a little bit better. Um, have a little bit more control over it and it gives you that really cloud uh, kind of feel to it fairly quickly. And so this was kind of a fun way to do this and the nice thing about what I'm doing here, as you can see, this is a good way to build up some atmosphere really quick if you're trying to get uh, th that look of like you know the sun breaking through the fog or maybe a moon or, or something like that it's a good way to get that nice just interesting atmospheric feel and basically what I did there was just soften it out painted a circle feathered it out like I would if I were using um, oil brushes you know an oil paint a traditional paint and then I went back in with an airbrush and gave a little bit of a hard circle and was discussing here for the patrons over on Patreon how to think about some of the composition for later on laying out some of the highlights and getting that look. And then laying in some forest real quick using my forest brush, my vertical tree brush that I have. If you don't have my, my brushes, they're available over on, our, on uh, Gumroad. You can get them there. And um, so basically that's what I was doing here was just trying to play around with it a little bit to get that real quick atmosphere and kind of the feel for what I wanted and as you can see I mean just you know kind of this right here just like that was kind of interesting I have several new stencils that I put out for my patrons those were them right there they're uh, some new painted waves to go in there and this is the original painting there that I was discussing you know some of the ideas from it my goal wasn't to recreate the original one completely it's just kind of use it as a springboard to a similar painting and kind of a, a study and practice and stuff so one of the things I realized here was that I had everything too towards the bottom after I did this part, which was laying in what the color was going to be. And the, it's more of a greenish color because the background, the atmosphere, and the trees are kind of in the blues and purples. So I wanted this to be in the yellows and greens. And so that's what I'm doing here is just kind of roughly underpainting it and getting the feel for where I want it to be and kind of the shape and talking about how you just kind of plan out what you want uh, based on you know the underpainting and stuff so that it's got that really nice feel to it that you build on top of and right here what I'm trying to do is keep the idea of that you know as light comes towards you it kind of cones out and so just having it kind of go back in the distance and then painting my horizon line this was where after I did this part using this wave stencil uh, I realized I wanted to move the trees up the whole background up a little bit so I did that this right here one of the things I realized after I'd done that I thought it made a really cool like um, if you're doing like a cutaway water scene where you're half underwater and half above I thought that would turn out looking really nice right there actually I started almost completely just ditched the original painting I was gonna do and started to do something there just because I liked how it looked you know I liked that feel to it and but by moving those up it really gave it some drama and gave it some interest and I, I really liked it and I realized I wanted to move those trees up even more to kind of increase that drama and that look and so to me that gave it some nice depth uh, some good atmospheric depth right there and really was kind of a cool thing to, to look at and so then the rest of this is just kind of filling in with color to get it all on the same page for the look but again that would be a really cool scene of a cutaway kind of thing with that so uh, from here it's just a matter of going in and starting to play around with the the feel and the look of the waves and start setting stuff back and pushing it back and this is you know bringing the waves a little bit up past the the foam and the distance reflections and start playing with those and getting that you know that interesting look to it so that i can um, really start playing around with it now one of the things i'm trying to emphasize to people and that are my patrons is you know make sure you're painting more with your mid-tones and stuff because in this painting what I did was by having the Sun back there or the moon or whatever it is that gives me my highest my pretty much my brightest brights and then the 
blackish green or the blackish bluish purple those are really some of my darkest darks and so trying to stay between those for laying out stuff and then from there going in to push it and pull it to make it brighter and more interesting was kind of the next step and so this right here I'm talking about how to use the stencils to get different looks and feels uh, or different look and feel for everything for the the foam creeping down and around and explaining how to do that to it all so this is about an hour and a half long painting that I did with my group to show them how to really you know lay out some of these rocks and foam and waves and that kind of stuff um, there's a couple things I might go back and change on it I haven't really decided uh, I might not you know kind of already signed it and if I sign something most of the time I call it done learn from it and move on to the next piece so that way it keeps me doing some interesting stuff as I'm moving forward with it. So uh, if you like this piece, I'll probably have prints available over on Etsy. You can uh, go there and support stuff. If you uh, aren't supporting me on Patreon, you can do that too. That's $3 a month uh, for hours and hours and hours of content, plus a lot of extra stuff like stencils and uh, you know high-res prints and stuff like that that you can use. But... Um, yeah, so just kind of kept playing around with this to show how to get the feel of it by laying out the rocks and getting the feel of the foam breaking across it. It kind of dictates where everything is going to be. And then from there, you've kind of got uh, some of the stuff, the freedom to play around. The roadmap is becoming clearer and clearer for how everything looks and does. But I really wanted to keep this atmosphere of, um, you know, with the name just Dead Man's Cove and having it um, be an interesting thing. I wanted to punch up the eeriness of kind of those eyes, you know, of the, of the waves there. So it's kind of this greenish, ethereal looking stuff. So I thought it was interesting to kind of play around with it and, uh, and do that. So that's what I'm doing here. And then starting to show how to, uh, some different ways to do the, the cresting of the waves and the foam as it comes over the top. Because in, uh, in my mind's eye for doing all this, there's a lot of rocks under here that are really churning up the water and making it all you know kind of crazy splashes and stuff like that but showing how to do that and how to bring the highlights in and then once you've got those highlights which are still some of mid-tone highlights uh, going in with an overlay layer and uh, really punching up some of the highlights and so forth so that's kind of what I'm doing here with this is just showing how to break it all up and get that texture and that different feel and and look for it. there and there's different ways to do it I do it different ways sometimes uh, but I wanted to show this how to really build the different layers of foam as it's crashing through and, and getting that look so I think overall this piece works fairly well um, and you know like I said there's maybe some things I would change maybe some things I would do but you know I'll probably just leave that once I got all this part done in my original painting I had the ship wreck already done because this was getting to be about an hour and a half long painting, what I did was I went into my other uh, older one and just cut the, the image out uh, and pasted it in to here. So that way I could just move it around, resize it, and then just go in and edit it and get that look. And so that's what I was showing here. I was talking about how this really is not anything more than just a blob of shapes and, and stuff. I didn't want much detail on it at all. Just kind of a hint of detail. So um, that way it kind of you know really be played around with and stuff and so um, and that's what I'm doing here is talking about how to kind of push some of the shadows maybe pull some of the highlights and, and get that kind of look and feel of something reflecting or being highlighted by the Sun as it's just sitting there in the water and how to you know just kind of pull it back and, and push it and pull it to get that look and feel so and you can do that with different stuff with the pencil tool with the you know the custom brushes and all that but by having this on different layers I can then move it around and kind of play around with the composition and then I wanted to add more fog in the background because I uh, just like the look of that with this again I want this to kind of have that feel of everything burning off and, and eerie and dark and foggy and you know maybe that's why the boat crashed or you know maybe they were hunt, you know, hunted there and stuff and so um, just all that kind of stuff so I added these over here this rocks so I just wanted to kind of the hint of some cliffs and stuff added that there and then started with an overlay layer to start adding in some um, highlights and then I decided I wanted to show how to do like the starburst effect where you can just go in quickly paint it 
and then use different brushes to soften it plus the blur tool uh, function that it has and then you know change the opacity so that way you get it but that's kind of the whole thing and really quick if you want to take a look at it and do the whole uh, from start to finish come over to patreon like I said three bucks a month hour and a, and hours and hours and hours of uh, of instruction so I hope you've enjoyed this I hope you got something out of it make sure to leave any comments or you know uh, suggestions down below questions and if you haven't subscribed already do so but other than that have a fantastic day